morning and welcome to day 63 of the mindfulness challenge today we're going to be looking how we socialize mindfully hello and welcome to day 63 of the mindfulness challenge i hope you're having a good day i feel a bit bright today so i thought i'd put my yellow t-shirt on ready to go out into the sun as this mist clears here in in the vale of glamorgan in south wales um it's a pleasure to be with you again on day 63 um today we're going to be talking about building confidence for social settings and understanding that when we meet rewind when we meet new people um it's going to be difficult for some people because we've been in lockdown for such a period of time. Have we become, you know, these hermits who are quite comfortable in our own skin now, but struggle a bit socially? So I want us to explore the topic of social confidence and 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 how we can work together to be able to have that confidence and the ability to go back out into the real world. Now, some of us have never left the real world. Some of us are, have never been back in there. So, you know, there's a varying people are on different levels of this journey. But I want us to have the opportunity really here now to um, allow us to build some confidence that's within you, to be able to take that forward so that we go into these, you know, new public social settings that um, we can do it without... Um, any any and being afraid any thoughts and and have this wonderful approach and the desire to get back to being truly you after everything that's happened feeling valued and 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 admired by yourself but also by your peers and those people in and around the community for you and you need to, and for us to do that really we need to build those social confidences and those abilities to um, have that confidence to go back out into that space knowing that you know you are ready for it and that's important so you know it, social um interaction and and those things is a lot to do with confidence you know you see a lot of people who just sort of meek and mild at the back and, and who, who are quite quiet and shy and because they either they say to themselves oh you know i just like to stay at the back but a lot of that is to do with confidence and actually their inner person if you sit down with them and, and open them up, it's just like, wow, you know? And that's and if that's you, then I'm not forcing anybody to do anything because that's not what mindfulness is. But maybe this is an opportunity for you today to, to start to build that confidence of your story, of your narrative, of who you are and, and, and what you're about. Because if we have this, you know, I used to say engage, inspire and empower, which was to engage with somebody, to inspire them through your actions, but then empower them then to go and follow their path. And that empowerment really is built around giving them trust, love and confidence that the things that they feel generally are quite normal. But, you know, we all have our unique stories and naturally we'll gravitate towards, in the main, like-minded people. But the ability to go and talk to people, the ability to go in and, and hear somebody else's story is, is fantastic. I believe everything is a conversation and that's how I've got on in life. I'm a very open person and when somebody walks past, I always say, hi, how are you? And I'll always talk to people, not because I want to do it to see what's in it for me, but I believe that there's an energy exchange and, and you meet everybody for a reason, even if it's just to put a smile on their face or a smile on your face. So social interaction and social gathering and, and getting out there once, if you're allowed out, then great. If you're not, then this will prepare you for it. So what I want us to do really, as always, is is just to get comfortable. I'm going to put an image up now, but I don't want to close your eyes yet, okay? And for us to um, relax, I want you to focus on what you really want and need in your life. So it's a time for us to dedicate you know, to make sure that the necessary, we work towards our necessary goals. So I want you to just, with your eyes open, and I know you're looking at a picture at the moment, but I want to say to yourself, my intent is to be fully confident in social settings. My intent is to be fully confident in social settings and approaching new people with ease and feeling welcomed by everyone. 
approaching new people with ease and feeling welcomed by everyone. I know I am valuable, so I desire to feel valuable in society. In order to do this, I honestly, com I honestly compliment others and admire them, so they in turn like me. But get into the very comfortable position now and make sure that you're not going to be disturbed. And it's easy to relax even though you might not have had the chance to quite so often. What I want you to do is take five very deep breaths in together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And last one, breathing in and breathing out. Now what I want you to do really, sat here now with your eyes open and you're looking at the screen, which is now an image of today's Stay 63. But I, I want you to look at the image, but begin by slowly blinking your eyes. And with each number I say, just blink once, very slowly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now allow your eyes to just gently close. And when you do this, you'll feel a wave of relaxation just completely sweep over you. And I'd like you to focus now at this moment when we're sat here now feeling very relaxed with our eyes closed on the sensations at the top of your head. Just notice how the very top of your head feels. And now let you focus, move down to your eyes. And again, just notice how your eyes feel. And just ask your eyes just to relax a little bit more. And the movement in your eyes is called rapid eye movement and is completely normal. These small eye movements allow for us to feel calm. And notice how the back of your head feels against the surface of that you are touching. How heavy does your head feel right now? And let your focus move to your nose and feel the slight sensations of the air moving in and out with your breath. When you breathe in, imagine that you're being filled with calmness. And when you breathe out, imagine your body feels heavy and deeply relaxed. I'd like you now to focus on your ears. Notice how they feel and what they hear around you. Try to push your awareness and hear every single noise or sound that's around you. And when sounds come into your ears, they act as little waves of relaxation, taking you even deeper. And notice the sound of my voice and how soothing and calming it is. And from here on in, you can only hear my voice guiding you. All of the sounds passing through only take you into a deeper state of calmness. I'd like you to focus on your mouth. How does that feel? And what do you notice? Can you sense the flavour of something you've recently tasted? Perhaps you can imagine biting into a fresh slice of lemon and notice how your mouth waters. Move your focus down now to your neck. And if there's any tension, just ask it to release a little more. Notice how your neck feels right now. And just feel all the sensations in your neck. And focus on your shoulders and move your attention slowly going down each arm, down all the way to each fingertip. What are your fingertips touching right now? And feel the sensations of your fingertips.
and allow your focus to go to your chest. Relax in this area as well as your upper back. And if you notice any tension, just ask it, ask it nicely, just to release a little. Now imagine you're focusing on your heart and feeling it beating strongly, supporting you. Relax your heart and notice how good it feels to do so. Now focus on your lungs and feel them gently expanding and contracting with your breath, delivering oxygen to your body. And allow your focus to move down your vital organs and your digestive system. And just notice your belly and how it feels. Just observe it working and digesting effort effortlessly for you. And now I want you to notice your lower back and how it's pressing against the surface you're on. And if you feel any tension, just say, please relax just a little more. Focus on your pelvis and your hips and notice any sensations that you're having there. And this takes you into a deeper state of relaxation, allowing your focus to move down each leg slowly relaxing as you do. And your legs have been taking you so many places over their ears and they deserve to be fully relaxed. Notice this wonderful wave of relaxation moving down to your knees and down to your lower legs, all the way to your feet and to the very tip of each toe. Notice how completely relaxed you, your entire body feels right now. As always, I'm going to say something now that is very important, well, you'll deeply hear these words and they will affect your life for the better. And you're completely aware at every level of your mind, even though your body may feel asleep, these things I'm going to tell you will build healthy relationships with new people, help you to meet new people and relationships that are fulfilling for you both. I'm going to help you with the basics in cultivating healthy relationships. It's important to care about yourself, but others must be cared for as well. You become to appreciate yourself when you care for others and others care for you for appreciating them. We know this is healthy and important in romantic relationships, but essential in all relationships. Your desire to be fully confident, so you put in the necessary work to do so. And when you meet someone new and are building a friendship, the first step in caring for them is ask them about their day. How was your day today? Ask them what they like and dislike. Ask about their concerns and when they will use these things. Ask them more about why, what they're telling you. Say things like, that's very interesting. Can you tell me a bit more? And look deep into their eyes and really listen to what they're saying to you. And when you notice something that you value in another, you compliment them honestly and openly. A second step in bringing out our inner confidence is taking actions in things you enjoy doing and also finding new things for you to plan and prepare for. Perhaps you can cook dinner for a new friend or two soon. Inviting them over and offering them some, you know, amazing food that you prepared prior to their arrival and cooking dinner together and sharing the duties of dishwashing afterwards. Ask a friend what their favorite food is and and make that for them. And these new relationships are important to you and you do everything you can to value others, which makes you feel valued too. 
And lastly, the third step to having full confidence again is from now on, you think, you walk, and you act, and you feel genuinely and deeply like you, yourself. Your true self shines with your posture, your expressions, and your energy. Now hear yourself saying, I have great confidence in social settings and I approach people with ease. I have found myself again by fully accepting others and admiring them. Others admire me because I exude confidence and compliment them honestly. I am welcomed in new situations and it's easy for me to go with a social flow. Others value me because I value them greatly and I value myself. Even though at first I had lost part of myself, I know that I'm fully whole and complete and there's nothing to regain and I only need to practice new habits towards my new goals and notice how that feels. I know that I am a special light and that I can bring value to social situations and that I will attract like-minded people who share the same values, who resonate the same love. And now I have the confidence to step out of that shadow and be my true self in every sense of the word, in every molecule of my body in every atom and particle of this world, I want to be me. I value myself, I value others, and together we can be truly valued as one. take a deep breath in and as I breathe out I say to myself from this day forward I will be true to my inner soul true to my inner purpose of which now I can start to build the clarity and the love and the direction of this spiritual journey in a way like never before I am love and I give love and I have the confidence today to stand tall knowing that the person that stands in front of everybody is the real me. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers, take a deep breath in, open your eyes and come back into the room. Just having a cup of tea here, my throat is a bit... Oh. It is quite early in the morning here in the UK, but I'm feeling good. I can hear the birds outside. I've got peppermint tea. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. What a beautiful day, 63 years, with my yellow T-shirt on. My eyes are hurting a little bit, so I put my glasses on. Um, I hope you enjoyed that meditation. It's quite funny, isn't it, that um, synchronicity plays a huge part in all of our lives, whether we tune into it or don't. But recently, over the last ooh, couple of days, and there's so many people saying to me now that they want to be their true selves. They want to come out of what I call the spiritual closet. And it's in my book, From a Burden to a Blessing, which is available in Amazon. Um, <laughs> is, is, you know, is being your true self. And that's hard because of the layers of dogma and all of these things that have been put on us and you know, social social learning or social teaching, you must do it this way and, you know, this isn't right or that's not right. As long as you've got a good heart, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you have, then just be yourself. Let your own personal love and light and character and personality and laughter and love and all of those really special things, let it come 
to the fore so you can just be yourself. It's hard and takes energy trying to be somebody else when all you have to do is be yourself. Day 63 of the Mindfulness Challenge. An important day because it's today. And today is all we've got from moment to moment, from breath to breath. So appreciate it, love it, but importantly, Please, come out of that closet, dust yourself off, find that inner child, and from this day forth, be your true self. I did it, lost some friends, but I gained a lot more. And I said last night when I was in a spiritual circle, I'd prefer to be stood as myself amongst fewer people than stood pretending to be somebody else in front of lots of people. Have a lovely day. Take care. See you tomorrow. God bless. Be love and give love. Good morning, Julian. I love you.